In true Colorado fashion, we saw a big variety of weather over the holiday weekend, including that much needed rainfall. Some areas in southern Colorado even saw more than an inch of rain. With more on the weekend soaker and a drought update, let's turn to meteorologist Alan Rose. With almost an inch of rain at the Colorado Springs Airport this past Sunday, we just saw our rainiest day of 2020. In fact, it was the wettest day here in Southern Colorado in more than a year. For that date, we take it back to a late spring storm in May of 2019. That storm dropped precipitation in excess of 1.7 inches of rain and snow. Now let's look at the drought monitor. The very latest does show moderate to severe levels of drought around El Paso, Pueblo, and Fremont counties. We have extreme drought across more than 17% of the state, including Eastern areas in the plains, the San Luis Valley, Raton Mesa, and some of our southern mountain ranges. Looking at rainfall chances over the next five days, pretty minimal chances of any thunderstorm development through Wednesday night, and then we see those increase as we make our way into Thursday, Friday, finally peaking around 50% heading into the start of the weekend. Beyond the scope of that forecast, let's check out the precipitation outlook valid for the first week of June. And you can see the darker green does favor above average chances of rainfall out across the southern areas of the state, especially out to the southwest, and near average to slightly above average rainfall chances right along the I-25 corridor south of Denver down towards the Mexico state line with below average rainfall chances out east into the plains. One last thing to keep in mind, additional snow melt through the end of the spring should provide a boost to reservoirs in some of our more drought stricken areas. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Meteorologist Alan Rose, News 5. Alan.